Hi YouTube, this is going to be a quick video, this is D Fishman 76 back again. Uh, these are packages of bees. Last year they were in wood, this year they're in plastic. Uh, I'm going to do a quick little video, because as you can tell, the sun's fading quick behind the trees. So this is going to be a quick little video. I'm going to uh, put the bees in there. Uh, that's a hive that the bees didn't make it. They uh, starved out, so uh, that was a late season cutout that I did. So uh, one of these packages of bees is going to go in there. Uh, there's a little bit of drawn out comb that was in there. I took that little piece out because it was a better piece in there, and I had to put a frame feeder. Uh, oops, I'm putting a frame feeder in here because there's syrup in the box. I'm going to show all that, but uh, I'll dump uh, sugar syrup in here, give them a little bit of feed. For their first couple of days when they're trying to get established and all the other good stuff but uh this is the first part of the video i got to get everything set up real quick so uh stay tuned all right here we go uh sugar water this is probably one and a half to two or one and a half to one mixture of sugar water i'm just gonna lightly spray the bees the reason why you do this is to uh Keep them from flying so bad when you uh, get them out. But these queen cages here, or this uh, box, the queens are actually up top. What you have to do with these, there's two little flip tops right here on. You uh, pull these little pieces up like a sole. Slides. Just like that. Then you uh, you have your queen in the cage. She's hiding where you can't really see her. But that's the queen in the cage. And what I'm going to do with her, let me get a rubber band. Regular rubber band. Set these down here for a minute. Take the queen cage and put it on the uh, on the frame. Now you kind of want to center this frame in the middle of the box. That way, we got a cold night coming up tonight, so I want to make sure she's in the center where the bees uh, congregate around her. So I'm going to put her in there. I actually like to turn mine up a little bit. That way if the worker in there dies, they don't clog the hole up. Put her back in there. This is a cup of sugar water that will release the bees. We don't want to do that quite yet. Uh, with these cages, stomp the, or you pop the bees down, stick a plate, or it's better to use a high tool, but I don't know what I did with mine. But anyway, pry these little pieces up, just like that. Before I forget, high reducer, entrance reducer. I'm going to slide that right in there, like so. And all that's to do is to keep the other bees from robbing these out while they're getting everything set up. Just like that. I'm gonna pull two of these frames out. Smack the bees down. Just like that. Open them up. See all the beautiful bees. Turn around and dump them in the hive. Just like that.
what I'm going to do now is put the top on it. I'm going to come them down just a little bit. And see with the, uh, this feeder, or this jar that was in there, what it is is sugar water with some holes in the top of it. And what I'm going to do with my, my trusty knife is poke a hole in it or air hole, get one by the side so we can actually pour the sugar water into the, uh, the feeder. And that's all we're going to do. Now tomorrow I'll probably come back by and put a little bit more sugar water in here. But for tonight, that's all I'm going to do. I'll come back over here Put a couple more my, my frames I took out. Put them back in there. Put the top back on. Try not to mash them. That don't always work out. Put the top back on the hive. And that's how you do a package. I kind of like these uh, plastic, mm -hmm. new plastic boxes. They look pretty mm -hmm. cool. Uh, you ain't got to stick your hand all down in there to try to get the queen out. But uh, that's how I do my packages. Uh, hope y'all learned something from this. And uh, I got two more to do before it gets dark. Hope y'all have a good afternoon and good night. And happy Easter.